Hello everybody, Mr. Sixman here, and welcome back to Marvel World. Today's video is all about racing, and everyone watching can join in if you want to. First of all, we're going to take a quick trip around the track just to see how it all works, and then we're going to be doing three races. The first race is going to be one lap, the second race will be two laps, and the third race will be three laps. And for the first time ever, we're going to be mixing up the starting order for each race, so it should be different every time. Shout out to Formula H67 for making this marble run. Link to this track in the description below if you want to have a go with it. Now something very interesting about this track is that actually this part here where we spawn the marbles in is not really part of the main track itself. It kind of is. It is part of the race. But let's send these marbles around the track right now and I'll kind of explain how that works very shortly. First of all, straight into a few spinners there off the start line. Then they're going to go into this narrow gap here, hitting some more spinners through some nails and back out and down this double kind of spiral here eventually down onto this part of the track where there's a big escalator and that's going to take them up to the start finish line but that doesn't mean it's the end of the lap of course because we've got all of this track to do here as well so really the lap starts when they get to the finish line they're just doing a bit of extra track first of all to start off with and here they go now they begin really their first sort of proper full lap and every time they go through this start finish line here they're going to complete another lap so they only have to do this part down here just once. Off they go then, round these corners. They've got checkpoints here, of course, just to update the positions on the leaderboard, as we'll see later. We're going to pass under this track here, then through another spinner into a really narrow section as well, hitting that nail afterwards, splitting up then into two different lanes, and then merging back into the same one again over here before splitting off again. So it's quite interesting, a lot of sort of different routes you can take. Now this part here is really cool. I love this. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Again, just really narrow lanes but a really interesting design then they're going to go back outside onto a wider track down here now we're down at the sort of roof level and of course now they're going to hit into the escalator and there is a bit of track over there as well I'll explain what that does in a minute but as you can see some of the marbles are falling off the roof into that gutter we will have a look at that in just a moment but now they're going to go back up the escalator look so these marbles are right at the front of the pack and uh, up here they're going to drop down through a funnel here they go there's a booster pan underneath as well just to make sure that they don't sort of roll backwards and fall off the uh, the back of the track there and off they go onto another lap Right, let's send in tons of marbles now and just try and get some to fall off here. That's it, because what we want to do is have a look at what happens if you do actually fall off the track and run into that gutter down below. And here it is. Look at this. All of these ones now are falling down in here. Now, don't worry. If you do fall into the gutter, it's absolutely fine, but you do have to spend a bit more time getting back up onto the track again. So let's have a look and see where they go. Down here through a sort of U-bend, doing a 180 degree turn here, and then back down to this escalator at the bottom. Now in the racing, we probably won't see too many people falling off the track, but it is of course possible, so just bear that in mind if you do, you're gonna end up down here. But look at that, they go off the top of this escalator, and then back onto here, and up the main escalator towards the start finish again. So that's how that works anyway, but as you can see, it is quite reliable really, because even if you fall off, you can make your way back on. Doesn't that look absolutely absolutely amazing guys but you may have noticed over here there's also a chimney on the roof and actually that has got marbles in as well with this smoke effect trailing after them now for the racing i'm actually going to turn this off but it's just a decorational piece really oh no traffic jam don't worry we're not going to have that many marbles in the races right well i think that's pretty much a full tour of the track now so with all that being said and done let's go and do some racing on it and today we have 160 marbles racing, most of which are named after my own viewers. If you want me to name a marble after you in a future race, let me know in the comments section down below. However, don't worry, because if you don't have a marble name for yourself, you might want to choose this U marble here instead. Subscribe. We've also got some happy birthday marbles today. Is that Reese animations or Rice animations there? And also happy birthday sparkle as well. I hope you both have an amazing day. Right, let's go and do some racing. Before we start, I'm just going to do a very quick fake race for you all. So this is not a real race, okay? We're not going to finish it or anything, but it's starting right now. And what you'll notice is that the, uh, the leaderboard on the left-hand side of the screen here is not very accurate. Because actually, if you look at the leader, who is currently Zach, and then Warmonger Seth, that is not represented on the leaderboard accurately 
Now, don't worry, because when we get up to the top of the run to this uh, red checkpoint here, it all corrects itself and it should be accurate for pretty much the whole rest of this race. OK, so when we do start the proper races in a minute, just be warned that the leaderboard will not work until the marbles get round here. And I'll just show you an example of that now as they come round. OK, here the leaderboard starts to go a bit crazy. Look at that. It's all sort of flashing all over the place. But here, look, as we go round into this red checkpoint, it starts to recognise that Warmonger Seth is actually in first, uh, Mango Meow in second and 71 Lex in third, OK, as is actually the case on the track itself. So that's just a quick warning. But as I say, we're going to stop this race now and start the proper one. Let's go and do some racing. Three, two, one. The gates go down and everybody floods into those spinners straight away into the narrow bedded track, out into more spinners, nails, and then into this double spiral here. They're almost on that escalator where they're going to head up to the start finish straight. And wait a minute, it looks like Justice Enforcer was in the lead very briefly, but now it's Disc SJW the Demon is now in first place. We've got Justice Enforcer second with uh, Crazy Ellie, Freddy, and Shem TV. Don't forget that leaderboard is not going to be accurate until we get to the very top of the track just up here. And there goes the demon there. Crazy Ellie, though, is slightly ahead at the moment. Oh, no, demon is overtaking a bit faster down that straight. And demon also will have a bit of a quicker run around the corner. But it looks like Crazy Ellie has managed to block the demon there. And Justice Enforcer close behind in third. Those three are a little bit ahead of the pack now. But it looks like Trapu Kip is actually kind of catching up. And there goes that spinner, which is going to mix up the positions even more. And Trab Pukip is really doing quite well at the moment. Definitely in first place through that orange neon checkpoint there. I can't say the name of the person in second place because I don't know how to read it, but they are in second. Disc SJW, the demon in third right now, overtaking into second at the moment. But Trab is well up ahead at the moment. Jones Seed down there has fallen into the gutter and is having to go up that escalator. They're going to take a bit longer to get round the whole track. But here we go. There is Trab going around this narrow section now, taking the right path. Most of these marbles are going right here. A couple of them now starting to go on the left-hand side as well. And who's going to come out first after this funnel here? That's where positions again could be mixed up. And Turtle Blocks comes out first, going a pretty good line, actually. There. A good racing line around the corner, bashing into that one down there. Look, and Justice Enforcer is now into second. Oh, Panda Clan in third at the moment. Elon Tusk in fourth and uh, Elliot in fifth place. There goes Turtle Blocks, though. And it looks like if Turtle Blocks gets through that funnel quickly enough at the top, they could win the race, but so there goes Jome C, not winning because, of course, you've fallen into the gutter, unfortunately, and you have just started your lap. You're going to take a bit longer to get round, but hopefully you will get to the end of the race. And here we go. Turtle Blocks is right now going into the funnel. Justice Enforcer doesn't make it through first, so Turtle Blocks wins the race. Justice Enforcer second, and the Kirk Bros actually got third there. Well done to you. Froggo in fourth. Happy birthday to Reese Animations in fifth. Bonbon bon in sixth. Uh, o Panda Clan 7th, Lindsay H in 8th, Trapu Kip in 9th, and Rory in 10th. Disc SJW must have lost a few places there because now you've finished in 11th, just ahead of me in 12th, but actually that was pretty good still, just outside the top 10 for you. Guys, I think everybody, I'm not sure, but I think everybody might have actually got to the end of this race. That is incredible. We'll see in a minute. But actually, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Because uh, most of the time, you know, a few marbles do not finish the race and they get a DNF. But I think this time we might get everyone on that leaderboard with a completed time. There we go. The results are in. Turtle Blocks winning for that fastest lap of 2 minutes, 34 seconds. And then we have Justice Enforcer in second and the Kirk Bros in third. Now I'm just going to scroll down here so you can all see your positions. And don't forget, guys, if you want me to name a marble for you in a future race, let me know in the comments section down below. And look at that, everybody has actually got to the end of this race. That means the track is incredibly reliable, something we don't see too often, so that is awesome. Okay, let's go and do race number two. Here we are back at the start line for our second race of today. This one is going to be two laps, so a bit longer than the previous one. Daddy David starting in first on the inside corner there, but it looks like, wait a minute, who is that? Is that Hotel? Is currently in first, Brandon L in second, 
and it's Malay is that in third right now as they go down that double spiral and onto the escalator over here it looks like press play game on though has come out victorious along with three other marbles onto that top step of the escalator it's Malay has dropped down to the second step David S there shine as well and a number of other marbles now I think everyone is probably on the escalator Formula H 67 bucks there right at the back just for now but plenty of time to go in this race and uh, Jamie R goes across that star finish line there so currently leading and in a minute the leaderboard is going to be a bit more accurate that red checkpoint there is when the leaderboard properly starts to work and Jamie R holding on to first place and uh, we've got Daddy David just close behind in second right now John has fallen off the track round the back of the house and actually may not get to the end of this race this time unfortunately and there we go Jamie R going through that orange neon checkpoint now Daddy David close behind Spooky Lukey is in third and Joan C in fourth here they come round this corner here Jamie R still in first place and it looks like Spooky Lukey and Mash short for Max apparently is uh, they're sort of trading places down there look really fast around the corner into this narrow section where they're going to split off and most of them again going to the right hand side but Joan C going to the left now that could be interesting I wonder if that's slightly quicker as there are no other marbles to bump into and let's see who comes out for spooky lukey jonesy in second close behind and re is in third abdul malik is doing really well through that purple checkpoint there and then down towards the roof of the house another purple checkpoint around the corner bit of a booster pad there and jonesy is all oh, why it has just gone onto the escalator as well i think he fell off the track earlier so jonesy is in the lead spooky lukey second and then we've got re in third and by the way don't forget this is a two lap race so we've got a whole another lap to do before we finish but at the moment jones c is in the lead can you hold on though for a whole another lap there's a long way to go here another couple of minutes to get round. but wyatt hopefully will get to the end eventually there goes wyatt spooky lukey just behind uh, but currently getting that fastest lap and then re in second jones c has taken the lead though apparently Oh no, Formula H67 Bups has got stuck in. Now, actually, somebody might be able to knock Formula uh, free in a moment if they're very lucky. Look at that hotel. Oh, hotel is also stuck. Press play, game on is stuck. But they might all start moving in a minute. Jones C frees them all up there. And it looks like Spooky Lukey has lost a couple of places just all of a sudden. But still holding on to that fastest lap, of course. Ken K, though. Where is Ken? Ken, there it, there it, <laughs> wow. Ken K is now in the lead going through that yellow neon checkpoint. Re in second and Spooky Lukey in third. The checkpoints are a bit strange at the top of this course. I'm not sure what happens. But yes, the positions do look a bit odd uh, at the moment. But it should work just fine for the uh, final result of the race. And Wyatt is there just behind Ken K. Wyatt, a whole lap behind, I think think if I'm right about that yes spooky lukey down into fourth now and uh, it looks like Ken has got a massive lead dude in second re is in third spooky lukey fourth Harris plays fifth Marak C is in sixth Sully seventh shine eighth Abdul Malik in ninth and the Kirk bros in tenth at the moment and there they go Ken jumping onto that escalator really quickly no problem at all but Marak C does bounce and potentially loses a bit of time there and uh, let's see, Ken K though is about to win this race, but it does depend. Can Ken actually drop through the funnel quickly enough or is somebody else going to steal that first place? There's a bit of a lead up here. Look, but Spooky Lukey or Dude or Ree could actually take the lead. There we go. Ken d gets the lead. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wait, who won? Ken K won. Only just. Dude 2167 did an amazing job and nearly stole that first place. Spooky Lukey got third in the end, that bronze medal. Raxi fourth and Re fifth place. Well done, everybody. Here we are then. The results are through for race number two. And Ken K won in first place with four minutes and 24 seconds. Dude in second and Spooky Lukey in third. And by the way, none of the top three actually got the fastest lap. So that's quite interesting. We'll find out who got that fastest lap in a minute as we scroll down right now. So let's see where everyone else positioned on the leaderboard. There we go. Look, Freddy C got the fastest lap. Position 68, but claiming that fastest lap. 14 seconds behind the leader. Well done, Freddy C. Okay, now it's time to do our last race of the video. And this one is going to be a big one. Three laps. 
here we go then the last race of today's video a three lap race and the timer is going up right now three two one bang and off they go into those spinners again for the last time and uh, it looks like press play game on is actually currently in first uh progmaster in second who is that in third right now they're going so quickly around there i can't see but it looks like oscar d is doing really well actually and rory is doing a great job there ng cup series comet and oscar d on that step altogether. joshua's limitless gaming though is on a step above with rory right now when that leaderboard does update porgmaster is going to be in first place and they're just going to go around here they have to wait to that red checkpoint before it does update properly betty is in second ng cup series in third rory fourth and joshua's limitless gaming in fifth right now landon sixth and Comet 7th as they go through into this spinner and the orange checkpoint Llewellyn is doing very well in 8th Lindsay 9th as they reach halfway around lap number 1 and now they've split up into two separate lanes and Lindsay H is in 1st taking the right hand side there Joshua in 2nd Llewellyn in 3rd and they're going to merge back together again but Rory going around the outside there not sure if that's slower or quicker that lane but it looks maybe a bit slower actually and here they come just down here into this green checkpoint shortly just behind the front runners there's a lot of action happening behind and it looks like Rory is going to overtake Joshua for second place and it looks like Lindsay is holding on to first place around the corners they go taking that right side again the popular side maybe it is a bit quicker and these racers know exactly what they're doing but press play game on taking the less crowded route thinking maybe there would be less marbles to bump into get around there quicker Eleanor are going through Lennox as well and Andrew H but look what's happening down here we've got somebody country balls has gone into the gutter unfortunately hopefully you are going to finish the race but you're going to take a few extra seconds to get around this track ultra gamer is doing an incredible job Xavier in second right now wait a minute Xavier's now in first and also we've got Oscar D Landon and ultra gamer all on that same step down below. Also Stanley SS and press play game on. Lindsay there. Steve B. Joshua. NG Cup Series. Chuffy the dog doing pretty well there. And uh, Comet as well. This is really the sort of top pack at the moment. But we have two more laps to go. This race can change a lot over the course of the next five minutes or so. And we have Oscar D going into that corner just ahead of Xavier there. And also press play game on is kind of close behind actually i'm wondering if oh wait Lindsay's catching up with press play game on but dropped back a bit they lost a bit of time after crashing in to the back of press play game on oscar d hit that nail and went to the left hand side of it now what's happened here has oscar a lot of better time going around that spiral you might lose a bit of extra time Lindsay h well up ahead at the moment in first place xavier did get the fastest lap though currently holding it let's see if anyone can beat that uh, and the second or third time round. Minecraft 208 is in sixth right now. Abdul Malik in seventh. And they're just about to come down here where the blue checkpoint is. And Lindsay coming through now. Oscar D and Stanley SS. Press play game on Abdul Malik. Ultra Gamer on that right hand side. Xavier's taken the left hand side. And maybe you're going to gain some places back. But let's find out in a minute. Then they go into the funnel. Who's going to drop through first? And it looks like press play game on has dropped through first and has currently taken the lead everyone else pouring in now look at that we've got uh, i can't even read the names are going so fast blades there and uh, subscribe has gone in mummy daphne as well i think whim has gone through let's have a look now as we get to the base of this escalator press play game on holding the lead up the escalator abdul malik second stanley ss and Lindsay kind of joint in third at the moment really but there goes abdul malik coming out in the lead starting the third and final lap of this race and then press play game on has lost a position now so you're gonna have to work really hard to get back there Lindsay who was leading earlier on is now in third and ultra gamer fourth uh, there goes Oscar D and Jones C as well crashing into that corner there through the red checkpoint and now here's the spinner this could change things up quite a lot and it looks like press play game on's taken the right hand side Abdul Malik the left hand side and look at that Abdul Malik has switched sides but is well up in front. Oh, wait a minute. Lindsay could be catching. No, there's a big gap now. But press play game on did get a good sort of momentum into that corner and has gone round quicker. Abdul Malik still holding a really good lead. But there's a lot of time left. 
on this race as they drop down towards the roof level and there we go look the top three seem to be in the order they're going to finish in at the moment what's going to happen though we have no idea at the moment Andrew H going up that escalator Mr. Sticksman there look I think I, I must have fallen into the gutter <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there but here we go Here's the front pack at the moment. Xavier going around the left-hand side there. Bon Bon Bonnet is now in the lead. How did you do that? That's an incredible race you've had suddenly. And uh, you must have overtaken a ton of places. Abdul Malik, though, has regained the lead. Press play game on as well. Those two are really quick, aren't they? Really good at overtaking, it seems. But look at that. Press play. Oh, no. There's, there's something wrong with the escalator. It's got three steps really close together. And press play game on is only just hanging on. I don't know if you can fall off that. It looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it, there? But I'm not sure if press play game on is going to fall all the way back down again. Uh, but currently in first place, this is a very tense moment here. Are you going to win? Or are you going to not finish Wait a minute, look at that. It's all changing very quickly, and Abdul Malik powers through to win the race. TF1 comes out of nowhere for second place, and then Oscar D third, Joseph fourth, and Lindsay in fifth. What an amazing race. Unfortunately, press play game on, lost a ton of places there. Still came in sixth, which is very, very respectable, of course. It's a great position out of 160 marbles, but unbelievable. That was a. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a mix-up at the end, wasn't it? Goodness me. Well, guys, that was an epic race, wasn't it? Three laps. Let me know in the comments down below if you prefer these, you know, longer races. We are, in general, going to do shorter races. But this track is quite reliable. And as I'm focusing on just racing for this video, we can afford to spend a bit more time on the racing itself, which is really awesome. So uh, let me know in the comments if you like this and you want me to keep doing this sort of format in the future. But now let's just wait for the whole race to finish and then we'll have a look at all of the overall positions. Oh, no, I got stuck, guys, on the nail. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Olympia. Oh, yes. Cheers, Olympia. Cheers. <laughs> you just freed me up there. Otherwise, I would have been stuck forever on that nail. Oh, thank goodness for that. And here are the results for the last race of today's video. Abdul Malik in first. Six minutes and 20 seconds. A big race, that one. TF1 in second. And Oscar D in third. Well done to everybody, though. Thank you to everyone for participating in the race today. And don't forget, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to name a marble for you in future races as well. Let's have a scroll down now, then. And also have a look out for who got the fastest lap as well. Because that was not someone in the top three. So who got the fastest lap? This is going to be very interesting to see. Not even in the top 50. Wait a minute. Not Oh, look at that. Position 89. Augie. Augie, well done. You got the fastest lap of the race. 17 seconds behind the leader. That's pretty good. Well done to you. Let's keep scrolling down now until we get to the very bottom of the pack and see if everyone finished or not. And there we are. Look at that. Everybody finished this race as well. That's amazing, isn't it? It's quite rare to see a racetrack where everybody finishes. And we've done it twice in this video. Thank you so much to everybody for taking part in these three races today. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, guys, if you want me to name a marble for you and race you down another track in the future, let me know in the comments section down below. But that is it for today's video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please do hit that subscribe button, the like button, and hit the bell as well if you want to be notified of when my future videos release. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.